We start with any updates on the working groups. Michael or Andres, do you wanna give us a quick update on um, the supply chain working group and the progress made there? Michael, you wanna go for it? Sure. Um, so yeah, from the supply chain uh, uh, working group uh, standpoint, we are sort of uh, consolidating around writing um, up the architecture and just starting to get uh, like pen to paper. And um, we had a couple of breakout sessions uh, over the past few weeks, got a bunch of additional details. Now we're trying to get a, a few folks just to um, who can contribute the time uh, to really do sort of a, a first pass of um, you know putting everything down. And uh, yeah, that, that's really about it, um, Andres. Yeah, nothing to add. You covered it all, uh, I'd say. I don't know if, if anyone is, is intrigued. Uh, well, we're, we're looking for volunteers. And as Michael said, uh, people willing to roll their, roll their sleeves and commit their time. So yeah, you should be able to find us on the Slack channel as well as, yeah, the regular meeting cadence is posted or feel free to reach out directly to Michael or myself if you're not unsure how to get involved, but it's something you feel you wanna do. Great. Um, any updates on, um, so I will give updates on serverless working group. Um, there are two meetings being held, actually three meetings being held for serverless. One is East Coast time and one is West Coast time and one is um, APAC time, a time zone where people are meeting and discussing the white paper that we are writing on uh, the serverless. Um, there has been some progress made, but we are still looking for more volunteers to contribute to that who have worked on serverless platforms and have the knowledge. Uh, we had some new participants join that working group uh, in the last couple of days. So hopefully, We'll see some more progress coming out of that working group. Thank you. Um, do we have updates from any other working groups that we want to share with others at this point? Do we have anyone from uh, Cloud Custodian Review on the call? And, and the security controls mapping. There's a working group going on there as well. Uh, and there's been some progress made there. Uh, anyone from that working group who would like to provide any updates? I guess not. Um, it seems like they're trying to check. Uh, we, okay, we go have, ahead, uh... you're on mute, I think. Yeah, sorry, I'm here from Cloud Custodian, but we haven't had a chance to meet in the last two weeks, so nothing to report, and I don't see either of them here. So uh, next week, pro probably. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, on the security controls mapping, I think they're looking at different frameworks, Nest 853 and ISO and CSA, CCM, and then they're figuring out what controls actually map to Cloud Native. Um, landscape, right? Um, in terms of, but also some of these standards are very high level, right? Uh, to drill them down to the level of detail that cloud native technologies are, I think there's work to be done. Um, but um, I'm glad that the working group has been initiated and there are people who are focused on looking at it. And if you're interested in working on any of those mappings of controls, uh, you're welcome to join that working group as well. Do we have any new members joining us today who would like to introduce themselves to the group, please? Yes, hello guys. Uh, I am new to the group. Um, Kilian Enders from Germany, Schwarz IT. Uh, we are the uh, IT company of Lidl and Kaufland. 
located in Germany. And um, yeah, I was invited by one of my colleagues to like join a meeting, um, consume some interesting stuff and just wanted to have a look uh, what is going around here. Welcome to the group. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, um, um, my name's Justin. Uh, I, this is my second time here, but I never really said anything. Uh, we're, I, I run, I'm responsible for fostering the adoption of Cherry Fence, which is a cloud native or a CNCF uh, sandbox project. And basically it's an application security platform for cloud native applications. And uh, I really look forward to um, meeting you all um, or talking each week. Welcome, Justin. And, uh, my name is Zofir. Uh, I'm uh, Justin's colleague. Uh, that's my first time here. So uh, I'm also here just to kind of uh, listen, uh, get some you know, insights, get the feeling. Uh, I will probably not join every week, but uh, great to meet you all. Welcome, Hopper. Thank you. Thank you for joining. What project is it that you guys are working on? What was it you said, Justin? I'm sorry, it broke up a little. Yeah, I was curious. Uh, I heard Sandbox Project, but I didn't hear the, the name of the project itself. Yeah, it's a uh, Curie Fence. I'm going to, I'll drop the URL in here. I hope that doesn't come off spammy. It's. Oh, uh, we were, we we're looking for someone to talk about Curie, Curie Fence. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, here. Awesome. We're, we're, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm more of the non-code uh, open source contributor, uh, but we could definitely get someone on uh, like Zuri, who's the co-creator of the platform uh, to come on and, and talk about it because it's his vision and his baby. And I just try to get people to use it. <laughs> awesome. So um, can I create, I think, let me create a presentation issue and can I, can you, maybe send me a GitHub ID and then you can just tag the, the right people there. Yeah, uh, that's mine and I'll get Zuri's right now. Um, I think it's just slash Zuri. Yeah, well, since, since you're new to the group, uh, we use issues on GitHub for planning and tracking. So uh, we'll use that to coordinate with you and the rest of your team find a suitable time, help you well, prepare the presentation. Typically those, those take a, a 30 minute slot of this one hour meeting mm -hmm. when we have one and we allot some time for Q and A. Oh, great. Yeah, he, um, yeah, I'll definitely be on the call and he will be driving the, um, the conversation. So uh, we look forward to it and um, That'll be great. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, great. awesome. Glad to have you guys here and looking forward to learning more. Likewise. Thank you. So I don't see anything on the agenda today. Uh, Brandon, do you know of any items that we need to work through today? Uh, I don't think we have any particular items that we need to work through. Uh, there are a couple issues that you know we just want to do a quick tri triage and just show people um what are the current issues that are being discussed in the triage and you know in their free time they can comment on that or if they want to have some discussion so maybe i can spend uh five minutes going through two three issues and then i think if we don't have anything else then you know, we can we can call it Sounds good, Brandon. Go for it. All right, one second. That's my window. All right. So, um, new in the world of triage, uh, we have now this um, ongoing triage tracker. Um, this is an issue that we're going to write down. You know, what are some of the old issues that we discussed in the previous meetings and what is the next um, bunch of issues that we discussed during our weekly meetings. Um, 
so the idea of this triage again, just just for just as a reminder, is that uh, we want to be able to revisit some of the issues. A lot of these issues have been inactive uh, for a while, and we want to kind of highlight them again in the community to see whether there are any new thoughts, any new um, flames that I kindled that are interested in working on these issues. If not, you know, sometimes we have uh, we've decided to take the issue out back to the barn. You know, and put it down. So, um, so a couple of issues that I think let's just take uh, three today, and we can discuss these. Um, so how this is gonna work is uh, I'm just gonna show you what the issues are, and then talk a little bit about what what um, based on history behind them, and we'll post these issues to the side channels, um, so that folks that are not on the call can also review them. And the idea is usually if there isn't uh, that much response or any uh, revitalized interest, uh, we may take the issue and close it for now. So um, the first one we have is 115. This was opened back in December 2018. Um, the idea for this is SME page, you know, a place for people to list their skills and experience to contribute to the work of the SIG. Um, so the idea here is that, you know, how we have the members page, we would have basically um, a page similar with the indication of, you know, I can do assessments, I can do, you know, quite my expertise in cryptology, things like that. And this would uh, act as both a way for people to, to uh, find volunteers, but also to be able to connect. Um, so there was a, uh, we discussed this in previous meetings, uh, there was a specific um, comment on this that, you know, this should be scoped directly just for the use within the tag, um, just because, you know, if you want to network and stuff like that, there are better websites to do it, like LinkedIn. Um, so this would just be, you know, within uh, the, the tag itself, how do you list your skills or experience that you can help to volunteer on this work? Cool. So this is the first issue. Uh, document annual review process to update security assessments. Um, so uh, as many of you know, we have security assessments that um, we do it as part of the tax work. Uh, this can be found under CNCF tech security slash assessments. Uh, we have about five or six so far. And the idea behind this process is to say what happens when, you know, a substantial amount of time has passed, uh, for example, a year. Um, what do we do with those assessments? Are they still valid? You know, what do we do with them? And uh, I think this has occurred once uh, or twice with, I think, the, the OPA and the in-total review. Um, and what we've done so far is kind of like just checked back with the authors of it to ask like, okay, has there been any significant changes? Uh, is there any, um, any reason that we should update um, the security assessment? Are there any significant changes? But I think what we want to do is to be able to have a kind of formalize um, this process. Right? Um, so this is this issue, 152. And this last one, review existing frameworks with regards to cloud native. Um, we have referencing standard models of vocabulary might be useful. Um, we talk about you know, the different standards, different things. Um, this is relevant to Cloud Native Security Controls Catalog. So I'm not sure if any, I don't think there's anyone on this call, but I think the evaluation here would be, is this issue being addressed by the Security Controls Catalog? Uh, should this issue be closed in favor of that? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's a quick triage breakdown for today. Um, if you, I'm gonna put in the issue numbers in here. Um, and you know, if you have any comments on it, you have any thoughts on it, you want to work on something particular for those issues, you know, do feel free to comment on them. 
Cool. Thanks, Aranda. That's that's all I have. Okay, great. Um, at this point, um, we have an open forum. If anyone wants to bring up any issues relevant to cloud native security or any of the projects that we have currently, please feel free. John, how's the security PayPal's going? What are the projects? I like the way you say that security PayPal's is just about to comment. Um, <laughs> I think that's our ongoing version. Yeah, I, I just saw that was in the, the um, agenda there to talk about a few of these things. So uh, I, I think we're wrapping it up. Um, we've got a bunch of good learnings out of it. Uh, I have a bunch of comments that I've been in, uh, how would I say, staging in a, a guest that I'm gonna actually copy over to the, um, the actual issue for this. Uh, I see Emily pinged me on one of the other ones that's been related and sort of sitting idle um, issue. I can find it really quickly. Of course I can't. Yeah, I can. Um, 534, uh, about how to basically align. Um, some of the comments we had coming out of this was we want, it might be beneficial if there's a bit more teeth behind us just saying, hey, it'd be nice if. Um, so I'll make some comments on that as well and, and see if this is something. There's definitely some benefit out of it. There's definitely the community really appreciated it. I think it comes down to um, how we both executed and, and sort of how we get um, people to um, become part of it. So I'll put those comments in and we'll see where it goes. That's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. John, has um, Emily talked to you about Argo CD at all? Um, no. OK, so we, we just had a short chat with the TOC. Um, they mentioned that uh, mm -hmm. Argo CD may benefit from having a security pal. Oh, OK. Um, mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I, I think that's just something to keep keep in mind. Maybe you know, going forward, as we are we are um, we are kind of digesting the whole experience and yeah, yeah. what we want to do going forward. You know, Argo CD could be a good uh, a good project to maybe have Nick's experiment on, or you know, if if you if you wanna uh, assemble an army of people. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'll yeah. I'll test space with her and um. Yeah, I think I think definitely what we've seen from this, the pilot went a little longer than we wanted it to. Um, and I think that's okay, but I think we definitely picked up, um, or at least I came up with some thoughts about how we can sort of attack this better in the future. So yeah, I'll, I'll stick, stick back with her. Awesome, thanks, John. Great. Um, yeah, I also wanted to share that uh, Chaos Engineering Working Group out of App Delivery, they're doing some good work uh, in terms of planning um, they're writing a white paper uh, which describes how to do chaos engineering and we are also plugging in from a security standpoint how we can do some offensive techniques to create chaos from a security point of view and then validate resilience of a cloud native platform or service. So that is interesting piece of work. Uh, if anyone wants to get involved, feel free to join that working group as well. Well, if we don't have anything else, uh, I'll be happy to give you back the rest of the time today. Awesome. Well, thank you all for joining. Thank you. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.